hello wordpress people welcome back to another video of let's learn wordpress cut and bug block series so in this video we are going to talk about adding cut and bug block preview in the block editor so uh, before jumping into the code i would suggest if you are new to this video uh, please start watching the playlist from the beginning so that you know what we are doing in this video and if you know what you are doing then just keep continue watching this video so let's jump into the code before jumping into the code if you are new to Gutenberg development then I would suggest to watch or review this website called the wpvoyage.com this has very good tips and tricks regarding Gutenberg development and Gutenberg editor so please go and check out this site thank you so um, first of all let me show you what does it mean by preview uh, block preview so here I am on the local site and uh, I'm gonna add a new new post and here I will add a new blog called G form gravity forms so as you can see here we see some uh, uh, section where we can select form so as soon as we select form we have the preview of that form the actual form so we have this forms field and submit button so this preview we are going to talk about and we will be adding the preview in the Gutenberg block for our custom block so let me remove this and let me add our Gutenberg block which is BWP search so currently if I publish this and if I view the post so it will simply displace a text this is a search feature so in our previous video we created a short code for this so whenever we add our block it will add a short code in our block and it output this uh, string or text so uh, we will be displaying this text so whatever output rendered by our short code that output will be rendered as a preview of our block so currently if we see this it is displaying only short code but now we will display preview once it is not selected so uh, for this the process of doing this is only three step process first of all we have to install server side renderer so the name itself suggests it is a server side renderer so whatever the dynamic output we will have it will render in our 
editor so let's install this first in our plugin so i'm gonna open the terminal for my plugin and i will simply install this server site renderer so let's install this and this is i am doing from the official document i will provide this document link in the description section so here is the um, command to install the server side renderer and if you want to know uh, what server side renderer then you can read this document so the renderer is installed now then second step is to import this server site renderer in our edit.js file so i will open src edit.js and i will import it over here okay so that's that now once we import this now we will be able to use this server site renderer so let's see an example how to use that so in this official document uh, we imported this and then we can use something like this i'm gonna add over here as of now i will add below the text field we added and here uh, attributes we don't need to pass we, we haven't added any attribute yet so we don't need to pass here we need to pass the block name so how do we get the block name so just open src block.json and whatever the name we gave over here we can pass that name over here now let's do npm start so that it does some process and then our changes will reflect in our block so it generated some files now if i go to this block and refresh this it should display something below this text field it is loading something let's wait for that and it is saying loading uh, error invalid block so why this is happening because um, whenever it uh, renders it calls an api which is which render our actual output so how do we uh, render that api so for that that is the last step we have to do is render callback so we have to add this render callback where we register our block so we registered our block inside this main file so here is the register block type and here i will add another argument and in that array I will call register callback and I will say the callback name render block with the blue p search and then I will add that function over here and let's uh, return something static let's say abc 
and let's see what happens we should not get this error now so let's see if our error is gone or not So now we have the ABC displaying over here, but our actual output is this, uh, which is coming from the shortcode. So what we are going to do is we will render our shortcode, which we created in our previous video. So the shortcode is added over here in search shortcode.php. So here is the shortcode. So what I'm gonna do is I will simply say do dot code bwp search and now let's see if that display this uh, sentence over here or not So as you can see now our output is coming from the dot code which is dynamic but there is one problem so we have this preview over here as well as this text field over here but ideally what should happen so whenever it is the block is not selected only preview will be display and whenever the block is selected then the text field or whatever the block configuration is there should display so for that what we have to do we have to use this um, is selected function from wordpress itself so what is selected does it returns true when the block is selected so whenever what does it mean by selected so when we go to the block now this block is selected so um, this uh, this is selected parameter does that for us and it is coming from the WordPress itself so we have to pass this is selected in our edit function so let me pass that first so it should be second argument is selected now we can use that over here first let me add brackets over here and if is selected then render this text field else render our output so this is the ternary operation so if is selected then this block will be execute otherwise this block will be execute so in other words whenever the block is selected the text field will be display otherwise the shortcut preview will be displayed so uh, now if i refresh this page let's see what happens as you can see it is directly displaying the uh, block output or preview over here because it is not selected now if i 
click on the block then it will turn into the text field so um, for the selected part uh, let me console.log for you selected and let's have open the inspector go to console and refresh the page and I am just showing you the is selected value whenever we select our block as you can see the initial value is false because we haven't selected our block yet now let's click on the block and we have the value true now let's click outside the block So let's click outside the block and now it is false so yeah this is how your block preview works uh, by the time we will have our actual output once we go further uh, developing our custom block so i hope this video gives you an idea about review block previews in the block editor and if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video guys